Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? We have got the Sporlin Zoom Lock Braze Free Fitting System. And uh, just wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing here. Comes in a really nice case. I mean, your typical plastic case that you get with um, a lot of different tools these days. Um, a couple of plastic latches that do a pretty decent job of closing the box. It's not real heavy duty like a Pelican or whatever, but it um, doesn't really need to be. So, pop it open and uh, go over what you get with the kit. Honestly, the first thing that I noticed when I opened the box up was the reamer. This thing is so much better than the reamers that I've seen with the um, Hillmore expander system. It's solid metal, aluminum, and the cone is, you know, not flimsy at all. And it reams and deburrs the pipe very, very nicely. If I can get a hold of a reamer like this by its standalone, I'd be really happy to to pay for this in and of itself. I don't believe that this is actually the uh, pipe cutter that you get with the kit because this is a rigid brand and I don't expect that it is supposed to be a rigid brand, at least not what I saw online with the kits, but you are supposed to get a pipe cutter with your, I'm going to kill those dogs, with your kit. You get two batteries, 1.5 amp hour lithium ion Makita 18 volts. You get a charger and I don't know if this brush is part of the kit, but this was in it for this review copy. And then you actually get a crimp gauge so that you can size your pipe and then this corner here is actually a straight edge for the tube. So you'd lay your tube in there and confirm that it was cut straight and didn't have a, a lean to the copper to the tip. There is some paperwork up here in the door or above the, the plastic up here. Not plastic, foam. And it's got uh, instruction manual and um, this looks like a warranty checklist quality check to prove it's been confirmed for quality. And I guess that goes uh, up there. The tool itself, when you buy a kit, is uh, the way it looks online, not actually going to have a head with it. You're just going to get the compression tool. But this one came with the half inch head. I don't have any half inch pipe right now, but I figured I would see if I could get a hold of a piece of scrap for, you know, a couple of test fittings and some pressure testing on it. I'm trying to figure out what to do that's going to be different than everybody else that's already done videos on this. I think VivTech, shout out to you buddy, did a great job with the torture test to the fittings and um, I'm going to try to find a way to do something a little bit different over the next couple of weeks that I get to play with the tool. So it's pretty straightforward. You've got a battery on the bottom and a trigger and then the head actually swivels which makes it nice so you could get the, fit, the tool into a different type of location. There's even a light down here at the bottom that turns on and stays on for a little while when you activate the device. Changing the heads is pretty simple, not terribly difficult. You've got this spring-loaded pin in the center, and if you push down and twist counterclockwise, it'll just blow itself out, or I'm gonna break it and then I'm gonna have to buy this thing. And then there's a channel here that uh, is your lock there. And then when you put your new head back in, you literally just drop it and push the head and it locks in there's really not a whole lot of thought to it. It doesn't matter which way you put it in, you can flip it over, run it both directions as far as left or right handed. The only other thing in the box, other than some information on the charger itself, 
is this piece of abrasive cloth. It looks like a Brillo pad sort of thing, but that was laid in under this head. I don't know if it helps protect it or uh, if it's just designed to allow you to clean fittings if you're working with something that's got old copper in it, old copper pipe. So that's pretty much it for the um, Sporlin Zoom Lock. One thing that I did notice, I don't know if it's just the case or what, but right here in the handle it says made in Germany. I doubt that Sporlin actually, I don't know. The uh, tool is made by Klauk, which certainly does sound potentially German. Those of you that are more familiar with this device, as far as history on the tool, is it actually a German head or a German mechanical device? And Sporlin just uh, bought the rights to it, or what's the deal there? I appreciate comments in uh, explaining that to me if you can. Um, so that's about it for this unboxing. You've got room where you could stick your additional heads if you were, you know, if you had a full kit you could store the the clamp heads in the chambers up here. So you could do, I believe it's down to quarter inch and up to an inch and an eighth are the optional heads. So quarter, three eighths, half, Three quarter, seven eighths, inch and an eighth. I don't know. If you did every putt possible pipe size, you may uh, run out of space in this standard box. But I'm excited to try and play with it a little bit and see how it works. Try to come up with a way to give you guys a view of it that is uh, different in some way than everybody else's. And um, look forward to your comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Man.